morning warriors so I know that it has been a hot minute um, but I thought today would be the perfect day to start vlogging again because it is officially moving day well moving day part one I'm actually going to be staying in a short-term Airbnb for like six to eight weeks until my actual apartment is ready so I'm gonna have to like move everything that I have stored from here over there in like mid-August early September so yeah that's going to be fun um, but yeah I am officially moving and heading over to my new town and for those of you warriors who have been with me since the beginning or even like the last few months um, you know that this is a long time coming like I I was not doing well in my current job um, my mental health was suffering which was definitely not helping my weight loss at all and I just I needed a change so you know me myself and I you know loving to just you know hit the ground running I decided you know it's not just enough to switch jobs no 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 <laughs> I had to relocate to an entire new city it's actually like 6 30 in the morning because I have not been able to sleep the last couple of nights I have been an anxious stressed out mess you know having like all of those thoughts running through your head of like am I making a mistake like what the hell are you doing Laura like whose bright idea was this <laughs> you're moving three hours away from your family and technically my family is wanting to move over there within like the next couple of years so I probably won't be alone over there for very long but still I am very much a homebody I love being close to my family so this is going to be rough but yeah I've just been kind of like stuck and like ruminating in those thought patterns and yeah but it's 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 gonna be okay like I'm I know that I'm making the right decision like I needed this change for my mental health for my emotional health and it hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed um, it will also have a positive impact on my physical health and my my weight loss journey I just thought since I was up so freaking early and basically I'm all packed and ready to go that I would just take a few minutes and start a vlog and kind of update you on where I'm at right now um, I know in my community post a couple weeks ago I did mention that I have been I mean obviously for those of you who have been watching my channel you know that I've been struggling with a binge eating disorder and I was in like a two almost three month binge spree um, that caused me to gain back like literally all of the weight that I had lost <laughs> Um, so I have been working through that. I started going to OA, Overeaters Anonymous, and I go to that probably almost every single day. I go at least five times a week. So that's been good. That's been helpful. But I also started going to therapy and have been doing that at least once a week, which has been really good as well. And my therapist and I, we made a goal that I would not, um, focus on anything weight loss related, whether that's like weighing in watching my food intake calorie intake exercising other than like just your normal like getting up and going for a little walk outside type of exercising you know just moving um any like weight loss videos for my channel anything like that until i could go at least three to four weeks without binging more than once a week um and i'm technically i'm on like week three and a half um, but I figured, you know, probably these next couple of vlogs will be more about just like kind of this moving process and all of the changes that I'm going through. And maybe I'll be like showing you some of the coping skills that I've been using. Um, and then we'll kind of like slowly within like the next week or two morph back into like what I'm doing to get back on like the the weight loss health train. Um, so just know that. Know that that's coming. I probably won't do a weigh-in for... A couple weeks like maybe one or two more weeks um, I was going to last week when I posted that community post but then my therapist was like <laughs> she was not having it <laughs> she's definitely good at holding me accountable she's like Laura <laughs> we talked about this and I was like I know but I just wanted to give them like some sort of update um, and let them know like I I'm maintaining like I, I've basically have been staying in within like a one pound range. Um, and so I've just been maintaining for like the last, what, six weeks? Yeah, five or six weeks. So I'm doing good. I'm like rocking the maintenance. Like 
we're good. <laughs> I haven't gained any weight, so that has been awesome. And I've been really, really working on using my coping skills, not just in a reactive manner, but in a proactive manner and a preventative manner. Yeah, and there's been a couple times where I've been able to like stop my binges like mid binge and like move on to something else and like do a different coping skill so it's been good it's been good and I'm glad that I took this break but I can't wait to like get back into like the routine of things with you guys again and be able to you know work out again and hopefully do some like workout live streams like we used to do um yeah. <laughs> it has been so freaking hot. We had a heat wave. Like when I was actually moving, I've been staying at Mama Warrior's house for like the last like mm, five or six days because they wanted me here for the 4th of July weekend. Um, but I officially moved out of my apartment. I was out on June 30th. And so we were packing and cleaning and moving things in the middle of a heat wave. Like we're talking 110, 115 degree weather every single day. It was a nightmare. I can't even tell you how much of a nightmare that was. I am so glad it's over. But the one good thing that really did come out of that is that when it gets like super hot, I don't know, am I the only one? But I just, I crave like fruits and vegetables. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> um, and popsicles. But and then like eating like junk food, fast food, takeout food is just way less appetizing when it's hot outside. So that's been good. Um, I mean, I definitely have not been eating the best, um, but I have been eating a lot more like fruits and vegetables. I've been drinking a ton more water. So the heat has actually been a good thing, even though I hate it, um, to like help like kind of get me slowly and naturally back on track as far as like my eating habits are concerned. I mean, obviously I've got, I've got a ways to go. Um, but yeah, I can't. My stomach is just an absolute mess right now because I'm so anxious. <laughs> but I'm also excited at the same time. And I also just kind of feel like a sense of like peace and calm mixed with anxiety and stress. Like, does that make sense? I don't know how you can feel all of those emotions at one time. It's just like the most bizarre thing. And it feels like I literally have been on a roller coaster the last like two or three months. Um, and let me tell you what, my last day at my job, it was, it was hard. Like I was crying all day long, even though I knew that it was time and that I needed to leave. It was still hard because I had been there almost a decade. Like that was my first grown up job out of college. Right. And I have gone, you know, from like lower positions into like team lead and therapist. And I had grown in that agency. And plus I have people there that are friends and it was hard to leave them and to say goodbye. So yeah, I was just, I was an emotional wreck. And then the idea of leaving here, <laughs> which is, I mean, it's basically my hometown. I was born here. I was raised here till I was about 10 and then we moved away and then we like moved back and forth for years. Um, but I have definitely lived here more years than I haven't. Um, so this, I mean, this is my hometown. And I also realized that I think part of the reason that it's been so difficult and so emotional to leave here, even though again, like I feel like I need to leave here, <laughs> is because when we moved away from here when I was like 10, um, my mom had gotten remarried and that stepdad, like he, he was, hmm, he was a piece of work. Um, and the, the little farming town that we moved to, like it was, I mean, it had, it had its good traits. It had its good moments and I have good memories from there and I have good friends that I have made from there. Um, but I have a lot more bad memories. <laughs> um, and so every time we would leave there to come, whether we would like move here or come here to visit family, like this place became not just my hometown, but my, my safe place, right? It was my escape. And I think I have always like associated it with that feeling of just like peace and just feeling safe. Um, so... Leaving is going to be hard. 
Oh my God, I didn't think I was gonna cry today. I thought I had done all my crying. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be hard, but it's, it's what needs to happen. Like, I, it's, it's time to move on. You're doing the right thing, Laura. You are. You are doing the right thing. And I also just want to say for those of you warriors who have been like contemplating like changes that you can make in your life to help improve like your mental and emotional and ultimately your physical well-being, um, do it. <laughs> it's just so good for the soul and for the spirit. And just, I feel, even though I haven't moved officially, I'm, I mean, I'm moving today. Um, mentally, I just have felt so so much better and my emotions have been I mean yes they've been a roller coaster about moving but about everything else I just felt a lot more at peace um and I really I really feel like this like part two I guess technically by now it's probably like part 200 of my weight loss journey over the course of my life but I'm part two on this channel um I really do feel like is going to be a success because I feel like I am making the changes in my life that I need to make in order to like relieve some of that stress and overwhelm and that baggage that I have been carrying around and that has been weighing me down for so long that I will be able to focus more on like my health and fitness and my weight loss um, and hopefully not have as many triggers for my binging disorder so yeah if you can do it if you can manage to make those changes i just i highly highly encourage you now i obviously i know that sometimes that's not a reality sometimes you are stuck and you can't um and for those of you who are in that position i mean my heart goes out to you it really does and all i can do is just encourage you to instead just do everything you can to fill your life with things that bring you joy. Anything and everything. From the really big things to the really small things. Like waking up and seeing the sunrise. Or watching your favorite Disney movies. Or I don't know, starting a YouTube channel. Like just do everything that you can to fill more and more of your life with moments. And with activities and with people that bring you joy. Okay, so I think that's it for the update today, um, but I'm just probably going to be vlogging throughout the rest of the day and kind of take you along with me on this literal journey <laughs> to my new home. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Mom. Hey, we can't go. There's a little curve in front of our truck. <laughs> Funny. It. Her name is Sasha. Well, okay. There's going to be more stuff in the front seat, though. And then we got a bunch of stuff in there. And back here. Sad thing is, this isn't even like probably a fifth of all of my stuff that I'm going to be taking over there. I'm not looking forward to like officially moving in August or September. I'm hoping that it will be in August. Um, let me tell you what. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much I throw away or donate. It's like... My belongings just multiply. It's ridiculous. Like the minimalist lifestyle right now is really, really looking tempting. Six and a half hours later. All right, all, it is official. I am completely moved into my temporary apartment for the next six to eight-ish weeks. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping that my official apartment will be ready in like early to mid August and not like early September, but you know, you never know. Um, how about I show you a little tour? Okay, so here's the bedroom. Look at that nice bed, oh my gosh. This is actually a really old house. It was built in the 1800s. 
and it's now been made into like four apartments. So it's a cute little couch. That's a closet. Let's go in here to the bathroom. This is a cute little sink. Toilet. And these like old tubs. Okay. And come back out here. Oh shoot. And then we come out here. We got a full length mirror. Look at that. <laughs> and a deep freezer. And a, just a little kitchen. I like how it's like pretty much fully stocked. Like I probably won't need to go anywhere for anything as far as supplies. So it even has like cups and dishes and everything. A super, super tiny little microwave. So that's gonna be interesting, but that's okay. This one, you've got some like mixing bowls and colanders and stuff. They give you a whole bunch of like pots and pans. There's even a Keurig, but I don't drink coffee, so yeah. An induction burner. I'm not the biggest tea drinker, but you know, hey, maybe we'll try some out. And then we've got some glasses and I think the little latches here, maybe, or not. Oh, there it is, okay. Got a bunch of glasses. I won't use the wine glasses, but okay. And a bunch of plates and bowls. Even got some little tea set stuff up here. There's even a toaster and a tea kettle. And then these are both refrigerators. A little oven. Some baking stuff. Oh, cutting boards. And some sheet trays and a little dishwasher. And then look at this little little message that she left. She's my landlord is like the sweetest person ever. It's a good thing that I didn't bring much with me because I was just planning on using my instant pot for everything. So yeah. And then come back out here, little door to the laundry room that shared a little table. And then I've got, I haven't unpacked anything, um, but this is the living room. There's a couch and two little chairs. There's a little dresser thing back there. TV, well that TV down there is mine. And then a closet. And there it is folks. This will be my home for probably the better part of the next two months until I can officially move and my family just left. We had Italian food for our, well I guess technically it was lunch slash dinner. Um, I had half a calzone because holy crap, the, the calzone was like the size of a pizza. So I had half of it and then I sent the rest of it home for Dallin. Um, so they literally just left, walked out the door like five minutes ago. Um, it's weird. <laughs> like I've gone off to like college before, obviously when I was doing my bachelor's. Um, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely a homebody. I like being close to my family. So it just, I hate this like feeling, you know, like right after they leave and you just kind of feel, I don't necessarily want to say lonely or like melancholy. It's just like this really kind of strange <sighs> sensation. Um, but it's okay, you know, this is, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be right now. Oh, I haven't updated you guys. I think those of you who have been watching since like, at least like last December, January, you know that Trenton, my youngest brother, um, he got engaged and he got married on April 1st. <laughs> no, it was on April Fool's joke, like he actually got married. And then he's having his official reception um, in like the first week of August, but sorry ladies, I hate to tell you, but Dallin is officially taken. He is engaged and he got engaged in, hmm, was it April? No, no, no. Oh no, I think it was May 4th. Like may the force be with you. May the 4th be with you. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Oh, see nah, nah. my brothers folks. Um, so he got engaged and he's getting married in mid August. Whew. 
So that just leaves me and Keston as the holdouts. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Dallin is engaged. Trenton is married and off at college with Emery. And yeah, craziness. Um, and then Keston. Keston finished his radiation. And I actually, I feel like in a vlog before, I probably mentioned that. Um, but he's off at school. He's actually at the same school as Trenton and Emery. So they're kind of like supporting each other. And yeah, our family's just kind of, kind of crazy right now. Like Dallin's getting ready to start, I think like a CMA program to become a certified medical assistant. So like a nurse. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like a few little updates. Oh.